month March marks 36 years since the 1988 Carrollton bus crash where a drunk driver killed 27 people. And now the tragic story is a part of a don't drink and drive campaign unlike any other. Now today stopping at Gallatin County High School. This is a story you'll see only here on WLWT. News 5's Brian Hamrick takes us inside the unique vehicle to deliver the message. Well, it's a very important message, especially this time of year with graduations and proms just ahead. And some of the students here at Gallatin County say this was one of the most powerful demonstrations they have ever seen on the topic of don't drink and drive. And it was delivered by a man who communicates through a bus. I haven't been this busy in a long time. <laughs> Quentin Higgins drives a bus. This has become like a healing journey for me. But those who get on this one are transported to the past. His doors open to May 14th, 1988, the day of the Carrollton bus crash. The crash that killed 24 kids, three adults. 27 killed by a drunk driver in a fiery crash that remains the worst bus crash in U.S. history. All right, I guess you guys are the first group. All the kids that died in the crash, the pictures are on the seats exactly where they were sitting at. It hit me hard emotionally. On this trip, the Memorial Bus is delivering the important don't drink and drive message to Gallatin County high school students. They see pictures of all of the victims in the seats where they would have been at the time of the crash. People who Quentin Higgins doesn't call victims. These were my friends. You see, Quentin, also has a picture on the bus, exactly where he too was seated. Um, I'm a survivor of this crash. I was a 15 year old child on the bus that night. He not only remembers the crash, he relives it. It's awful. I mean, it, it really, it touches your heart because it's like all those lives that are lost for no reason. Um, we just recently actually lost a senior in a um, accident, so, I think that with this being presented to us at this time, right before prom, it definitely, definitely hit us hard. For Quentin Higgins, the journey continues in a 10-ton time capsule with a message from the past never more important than the present. Now, the bus driver Quentin Higgins says the most difficult part of today's session wasn't giving the message to the students. It's driving the bus past the very spot of that crash back in 1988. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Well, that bus that Quentin Higgins drives is identical to the one in the crash. The actual bus involved was buried at an undisclosed location.